Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to create beautiful nail colors using acrylic paint. So have any of you been in a situation where you desperately wanted a nail polish color that you don't have or just can't get your hands on? If you want to find out how to create your own colors perfectly customized for you, then keep on watching. So let's see what you need. You will need these six colors as your basic colors, clear nail polish, a sheer nail polish, which is optional, a few paint brushes, and a sponge. You will also need silver paint that is water-based or acrylic. The nail polishes used are from Essence. I will also be discussing some awesome tips and tricks towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Let's start with the nail color I call the metal effect. Always add a clear coat to all the nails prior to application. Always start with a light shade, so add some silver to your paint. Then take a minute amount of black and mix as well. If you added too much of black, add some silver and try to tone it down. Then layer one coat on the nail and let it dry before adding the other coat. This gives the appearance of dark metal or metallic black. For the sparkly red, you will apply a single coat of red paint and wait for it to dry. Then apply the second coat. While this is wet, take some silver paint and gently apply it over the red without mixing the two. Just make sure that the silver is not lost in the red. This is then the perfect look for the glamorous occasion. Now for the third nail. It is time for the difficult part. I will show you how to create a new color. It is important to remember that because a lot of paint is in mix, it is not necessary that you will get the exact shade every time. So just make sufficient for all your nails at one time. Also for this color, I highly recommend that you don't use a top coat and the reason for this will be explained later. First to make orange, add a little bit of red to yellow. Then take a little bit of orange paint and add this to white, creating a pink shade. To this, then add a bit of blue and green. Mix well. Then add a bit of gray by mixing black and white to your color. Then mix this well and test it on a page. Then take the color you made and add it to white to lighten it. If you feel that the color is too brown, then add blue. If it's too gray, and add a bit of orange or green. You have to play around with the colors. Once you get your neutral shade, add two coats and leave it to dry. You can paint a silver tip just to add more glam. Okay, now for the fourth nail, the gradient effect. First apply a single coat of white paint as a background color. Then on a sponge, according to the length of the nail, paint some blue paint followed by silver. Gently dab off of the excess paint and then dab on the nail. Layer the paint according to how dark you want it. Let it dry nicely and this is the final look. Now it's time for some tips and tricks. They are so important to listen up. Firstly, even though acrylics mix with water, it will not necessarily be removed from skin with water. So before painting, apply Vaseline around your entire nail. Okay, secondly, most of the time acrylics become a darker shade once dried. It is important to test out how the color looks. So paint a thin layer on a page. It will not take long to dry, just a minute or so. Okay, the third point, acrylics dry into a matte shade. So when you add a clear coat on top, not only will it make it shiny, but also it may change the color of the paint. I find that this happens especially with light colors like pink, peaches, and light browns. It doesn't really affect dark colors though. I will demonstrate this with a peach shade. As you can see, the peach becomes more brighter and intense. If you use a nail polish like this one, even though on bare nails it looks pretty clear, but when you add it to the peach, it almost becomes yellow. So therefore, I emphasize that you test it on white paper before applying it to your nails. The fourth point, don't dilute the acrylics when applying it. You'd rather apply small amounts with a soft brush than have diluted paint everywhere. The fifth point, try to use soft brushes. Sometimes that makes a nail.
nail polish brush in order to avoid streaks and roughness. The sixth point, in order to remove acrylics, whether you put a top coat or not, apply some nail polish remover to the nail. Acrylics become waterproof when dried, so water will not remove it. The seventh point, if you are using any metallic color, always add a base coat similar to it. Example, use a white or gray for silver and yellow for gold. This gives the look a more opaque look. And lastly, experiment like you have never done before. Create your own nail palette that will leave that lasting impression. So hey, did you like my video? Was it helpful? If so, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome tutorials on makeup, DIY, nails, and much, much more. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.